Since this pandemic began, we've had nearly 30,000 cases in Jefferson County of COVID-19, and we're approaching 500 deaths. And I just want people to take a minute and reflect. These are people that are loved, uh, friends, family members that will be missed is a really sad fact going into our holiday season. We're averaging now over 300 new cases per day. This is, this is three times the level that we had back in September, and it is now the highest number per day that we've had since the beginning of this pandemic. We're also keeping an eye on influenza numbers. So far, uh, we are having some cases of influenza or influenza-like illness, uh, but we're still very early, um, and we expect uh, that, that peak to usually occur later in the year. But just a reminder to everyone, if you have not received your flu vaccine, please go ahead and get that uh, as soon as you can. We're very concerned about our hospitals. You'll hear more about that from Dr. Nafziger. Uh, but we are um, seeing an increase in our hospitalizations. Uh, and with this recent rise in cases, we do expect those numbers to continue to go up and put a strain on our hospital system. So that's a very major concern, again, going into the holidays. We're now averaging over two deaths per day. Um, that's more than we have had in the last few months. And we also expect that number to unfortunately increase because of the current numbers of cases that are going up. I want to mention our schools. Um, overall, our schools have been fairly successful by implementing strict face masking and other precautions. The main reason we're seeing cases in schools, whether it be among students or teachers and staff, is because of contacts that are occurring outside of the schools. There have been some notable outbreaks related to Halloween parties, spend the night parties, and other activities where mask wearing and social distancing are not being practiced. So we really need help from the community to try to protect our schools so our kids can get that in-person instruction that helps them thrive the most. Much of what we're seeing in our contact tracing is cases that are arising from private gatherings, such as parties, receptions, or spread within households, which is often hard to avoid. There's been some recent modeling done by Georgia Tech looking at the risk of having it, at least one person in a gathering that can transmit COVID-19. Just want to share a couple of those numbers. Right now, with the level of disease activity we have in Jefferson County, if 10 people gather, there's a one in five chance that one of those persons can spread COVID-19. 15 people gathering, that's one in four who can spread the virus. If there's a large gathering like 50 people, there's a two out of three chance that one of the people in that group is going to spread COVID-19. The rules have not changed. We still know that mask wearing, social distancing, and hand sanitation, and avoiding these larger gatherings that are not from your own household are still the most effective ways to keep this virus from spreading. Until we get to where we are able to vaccinate most of the population. Gathering in indoor spaces right now where people are not wearing masks, especially if the ventilation is poor, is simply not a good idea right now. Especially if you're older or you live with somebody who's older or you or somebody you live with has an underlying health condition. We do encourage you to support our local businesses, such as restaurants, through outdoor dining, curbside pickup, uh, even purchasing gift cards for the future. We do have very encouraging news about vaccines for COVID-19. Uh, two vaccines in particular are uh, applying for emergency use authorization and we expect to have our first shipments of vaccine and be able to start vaccine, vaccinating a few people as early as December. We don't know yet how much vaccine we'll get initially, 
but we do know it will be a very limited supply and uh, because of a logistics reason, it's going to be hard to get to the general population. So we, um, we know that it will first go to our most critical frontline health care workers and perhaps some first responders. There are other vaccines that are currently in trials and we'll hopefully have more available over the next few months. But we just need the public to understand that vaccination for the general public is still a ways off several months, maybe even into the late spring or summer. So I know everyone's tired of the restrictions, tired of being told what to do, but if we can all pull together as a community and do the right things just for a while longer, we can all play a part in saving lives and keeping people out of the hospital over the holidays. Thank you.